and mat season na. And what is so difficult, I swear. Really difficult, I swear. It's so difficult, like. <sighs> difficult as in. Promise. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a video about NMAT since NMAT season na. NMAT is National Medical Admission Test. So yung online registration ngayon ng NMAT is up until March 9 na lang. And the test date would be on March 25. Sa Luzon, it's gonna be on um, USP. So if you haven't registered yet, I'm gonna put the link of NMAT here. <laughs> I'm gonna put the link of NMAT here and then work your way in. Ano nga ba yung NMAT? NMAT is an exam. It's like a passport para makapag-apply ka ng med school of your choice. Yeah, of your choice talaga. Kasi yung mga med school, meron silang mga iba't ibang um, NMAT cut of school. Kailangan makapag-take ka ng NMAT bago ka makapag-apply sa med school nila. Ayun nga. Kasi nga, la, nitong week lang na balitaan ko nga na um, nakapasa ako sa med school na inapplyan ko. So, this is it. So, today I'm gonna do a video of my NMAT journey so that I could help aspiring med students out there. Meet girl. For your information, NMAT is time pressure and ang scoring is percentile rank. Like, for example, you got higher grades. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but I think dun sa sa NMAT website, meron silang explanation dun. I don't know how to explain it, but you get my point if you read about it. So, yun. And it's also time pressure. Like most of um, admission tests in college, it's time pressure. <sighs> So, bago pa tayo abutan ng NMAT dito, let's get started. Yung tips na ibibigay ko, hindi siya yung uh, sunod-sunod. Basta, I laid it all down. NMAT tip number one, mag, mag-poop ka muna bago mag-exam. Kasi, makakadagdag siya sa pressure. Yung na napoop ka na, 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 pressure ka na. Kasi, parang lahat sila alam nila yung ginagawa nila. And then, ikaw yung parang, bakit parang hindi ko naaral to? Ganon. So, mag-poop ka muna bago ang exam. May papawisan ako. It's so hot in here. Na umihi ka na dyan kasi you'll be wasting your time pag umihi ka pa habang nagtatest. And my tip number two, bring lots of erasers. Hindi para magbura, kundi para takpan yung mga figures. Kasi nakakalito yung sa abstract reasoning and sa perceptual equity. So, it can help you na i-block yung mga ibang figures. Trust me, I swear, I also did it. And my tip number three, when you review, focus on your weakness. Like, if you are weak in physics and quantitative or math, you should focus on that part. I mean, if you're good in, if you're biology student, if you're good in bio in all of the subject or sub-tests, unahin mo na yung hindi ka magaling. Like, for example, ako, hindi ko magaling sa physics and sa math. So, yun yung binigyan kong pansin ng focus nung nagre-review ako. Ganon. Kasi, kung all of the examinees, ay! Nangainit. Kasi kung all of the examinees are weak on physics, and then ikaw lang yung parang namubukod tangi, then, there's gonna be a high chance na mataas yung percentile rank. And my tip number four, practice the NMAT practice set. So, kapag nagbayad ka na ng NMAT, that's, I think, 1,900 pesos. Meron na siyang kalakip na practice set. So, yung itsura ng practice set na yun is parang yung yung exam na talaga. But with different, uh, ano, different questions, of course. But at least, you'd know, parang pag practice mo na siya, alam mo na kung paano ka mag-test mag paano ka mag-test on that um, day and kung ano yung meron din kasi dun minsan lumalabas mga out of all the questions mga apat <laughs> helpful and my tip number 5 hmm. 
do not focus on the do not focus on the, the subject or test part na you're already good at like for example um even ako no nagtry ako ng ng nmat practice set um i scored higher in biology so if i feel like i already um know some of the ano the topics hindi ko na siya masyadong aralin or siya yung least priority kasi nga ang priority mo is kung saan ka weak parang yun yung sandata mo na kapag um, naging mataas ka dun sa test na yun um, you would score higher among everyone else ang init na girl and the tip number 6 6 manage your time if um, graduating student ka kasi most of the the examinees or graduating student or in case of UP intermed mga second year high school uh, high school second year college at sila nagte take ng NMAT so um manage your time and you know spend your time wisely when you review focus on the subjects where you are weaker and then also wag kalimutan na may priority pa rin sa school so number 7 find a study buddy but in um in my case kasi, hindi ako nag-review center. Parehas kami ni, ni Albert. So, he was my study buddy. So, pag may hindi siya alam, tinuturo ko sa kanya. Pag may hindi ako alam, nagtuturo siya sa akin. So, that's it. Ewan ko, pero siguro hindi ko lang din talaga kaya mag-review center kasi I'm busy. Pero if you can enroll yourself in a review center. I think that's better. Because um, they teach you some techniques to answer faster. Because I think that's the point. The time pressure na siya. It helps. It really helps. I think the UP link. I also oh, I also have um, heard about it, and I think it's a good review center. Okay, so. Uh, nag edit na ako nung narealize ko na hindi ko pala na-mention kung ano yung reviewer na ginamit ko since na-mention ko nga na hindi ako nag-review ako nag-review center so aside from sa binigay ng CEM na NMAT practice set na makukuha mo after mo magbayad sa kanila meron ding um NMAT reviewer bookshop sa National Bookstore tapos um kompleto na yon nandoon yung mga may practice questions doon from um verbal abstract reasoning um meron din lahat-lahat ng subtest and then nandoon na rin yung explanation kung bakit yun yung answer if hindi mo alam yung explanation and nandun din naman yung explanation ng each choices kung bakit hindi yun yung tamang sagot. May mga types of question doon na na um, choose the best answer. Kasi sometimes yung choose the best answer na type of question is the trickiest part. So may mga times na you would think na it's the, it's the correct answer but it's actually not the best answer. Ganon. So, hinabol ko lang to kasi nga na-realize ko na hindi ko pala siya nasabi. Kasi, helpful din yung reviewer na yun. Kasi, andun na explanation. Lahat-lahat, computation, explanation, and everything. So, you should buy it if if um you're not gonna enroll in a review center for NMAT. You should buy an NMAT reviewer from National Bookstore. And my tip number 8, discipline yourself. If you can shut off your social media accounts, then do it, girl. I did it like two days before the exam. It helps. It helps you focus and tell yourself na mag exam ka na, girl. So, kailangan magsarisa ka na din. And my tip number 8, discipline yourself. If you can shut off your social media accounts, then do it, girl. I did it like two days before the exam. It helps. It helps you focus and tell yourself na 
mag-exam ka na girl so kailangan magsarisa ka na din and na tip number 9 look up to YouTube or um, meron sa YouTube kasi na makikita na kung paano magsagot ng letter number series and in quantitative nanonood ako ng YouTube para matry masagutan yung um, quantitative lalo na dahil hirap ako sa math and may mga tips and tricks din on how to to answer the letter number series yung mga what's what's after like one two three what's after three ganon <laughs> just search it and the tip number ten you should pray before the exam and days before the exam kung kayo magnavina you can go and pray ako ay ay pray to Saint John <laughs> of Cupertino nine days yun eh so nine days prior the exam was praying for I was praying for good results and it was given to me and my tip number 11 if it's meant to be it will be hindi naman kasi like for example kung lahat kayo matatalino na nag take ng exam well tough yung labanan pero magkakatala talaga sa percentile rank or dun sa mga subtest kung saan sila magaling kung saan ka magaling, kung saan sila mahina at kung saan ka rin mahina so I cannot further elaborate how NMAT results work kasi ang hirap explain din pero may explanation siya sa NMAT website na it's gonna be percentile rank na may median sila may basta you can go search it up and ang hirap eh you know ang hirap talaga ng NMAT and not everyone in any kahit sabihin mo na matalino ka mag mag vary pa rin yung ranking mo depende siya sa kasama mo eh sa mga kasama mo mag exam like kung lahat sila ay hindi naman masyadong kagalingan and ikaw ay medyo magaling lang you score like 99 you know what I mean I don't know if it makes sense but it's basically how it works and like if lahat kayo is matatalino na like above average and there's this one person who's you know so mas um much super than all of you guys then your end up will still fall right maybe me that's how it works that's why there are a lot of people who think na kapag mababa yung end up mo you're not intelligent enough to go to med and sometimes hindi nyo naisip ko na why would they require higher end math cut off when you know na may mga students na they have a low end math but their passion to serve and you know their um their eagerness to become a doctor and to serve other people what if i have an end math score of i don't know but lower than any other end math cut off scores ng mga med school you know but in my heart and in my mind I really wanna do it because I wanna help others you know ang sabi kasi nila kaya sila nag ng NMAT I don't know where I read it but ang um, sabi nila kaya daw sila nag taas ng NMAT cut off scores to to challenge the med students to to be competitive and to to uh, to do their best in NMAT Diba? Parang ano ba nag-challenge sa NMAT? Like, yung kakayahan mo lang ba na ma- makakuha na mataas na NMAT? So, is that the basis on how to be a good doctor? I don't know. But, <laughs> it's just my opinion. Kasi, <laughs> I know a lot of people na, na who are very willing, who are very willing to, to push through med, but NMAT hinders them. I don't know, but so yeah. So yung mga mag-take na ng NMAT, good luck na lang. 
I, that's not sarcastic but good luck because sometimes it's pure luck you know sometimes it's pure luck so I think that's it for this video ang init na kasi dito bawal magbukas ng electric fan kasi ang init na nga sa labas ang iniba bye